Hey guys, it's Lynn Van Nui, and today I want to talk to you guys about something that's been happening in my life lately. Basically, things started happening about two months ago, and I kind of have to give you a little bit of a backstory because it's kind of a long story, and it won't really make sense unless I kind of tell you guys a little bit about it. I'm not going to give names. I'm not going to tell the whole story because, like I said, it's a really long story, and there's lots of different things that factor into the story. Basically, what happened was I was friends with this guy, and for the purpose of this video, I'm going to call him Luke. Now, Luke and I kind of met through a mutual friend friend and we were friends a couple months before I started dating Will. So this was like a long time ago. I'm kind of just winging this video so let me get my thoughts together. Him and I were friends for quite some time and he always kind of had this little crush on me and it was totally fine because I'm the type of girl that like I love attention so crush on me man. Uh, <laughs> a little while into my relationship with Will there were problems and we ended up taking a break. A lot of people don't probably know this about Will and I, but we were on a break for almost two months. Basically, it was my fault. I had gone on sort of a hiatus. I was kind of sleeping around, flirting with lots of people. Not lots of people, but a few people. And I almost said his name. Luke was kind of upset that I was sleeping with someone else, flirting with another person, and I wasn't giving him attention while I was on break with my now husband. I don't know how to explain it, but he basically made it seem like I was a bad person for not giving him attention, shaming me because I had friend zoned him. And I was sleeping with other people, and I wasn't sleeping with him, and he was pissed. I think after that, Luke and I stopped talking for a while. Yeah, I don't remember that far back, but basically we weren't close anymore. Like, he was basically one of my closest friends. We, I would consider him a best friend. I talked to him all the time. I told him everything, and he just made me feel like shit because I had friend-zoned him, even though, like, him and I had been flirting for a long time, but it wasn't like that. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I never had told him him that I was gonna sleep with him. Like, I was in a relationship. I'm a flirty person. I flirt with everybody. It's not my fault that you had a crush on me. Do you know what I mean? That's just how I am with everybody. So, him and I stopped talking because he was just being a complete fucking asshole to me. I think about a year, maybe a little bit longer after that, him and I started talking again and Will kind of wasn't into it because Luke had treated me that way. He knew that Luke had this huge crush on me and it wasn't going away. But I told Will, I said, you know, I'm a grown ass woman. I can be friends with whoever I want. You have to trust me. It's just the way it is. Luke and I started talking again and it was fine. And I introduced him to my cousin, Sandra, who you met in my last story time video. And Luke sort of also developed a crush on Sandra. So the three of us were friends and then Sandra and I had a falling out. Not going to talk about the reasons why yet. Maybe someday I will. But Regardless, we had a falling out and so Luke was kind of the link between us like I introduced him to Sandra Like Sandra and I weren't talking and Luke was sort of in the middle But then we went to hang out and it was me and him and two other girls that he was friends with And I didn't know the one girl like at all and the other girl I knew because of him like we weren't friends But we were like acquaintances and we knew each other and like we kind of talked here and there and we follow each other on social media Yeah we all went on this car ride. Well, Luke decided to try to impress us. Decided to go 100 and I think it was 185 on the highway, but that's in kilometers. I'm not sure what that would translate into miles. Let me check. 185 kilometers an hour translates to 114.95 miles per hour. So if you live in the States. So he was going really, really, really fast down the highway. I was scared but I wasn't gonna say anything. And we happen to go flying past a cop. So of course the cop pulls out, starts following us, flicks his lights on, and we pull off onto an on-ramp. We're sitting in the car, freaking the fuck out. So the cop gets Luke out of the car, immediately pushes him up against the car, puts his hands behind his back, and says, you're under arrest for stunt driving. So me and the other two girls in the back seat are freaking the fuck out. He's our 
ride. We're out in the middle of nowhere. I ended up being the last one to get picked up because I couldn't get a hold of anybody and my husband was at a hockey game. He ended up having to leave a hockey game like half an hour in the other direction of our city to drive half an hour on the other side. So it took him like about an hour and a half to get to me. And the cop basically told my husband, if Luke had gotten an accident, your wife would have been the one who died. And that was scary. Bill basically told me, you know, I don't want you talking to Luke anymore. He put your life in jeopardy. And it's not like Will has control over me, but I respect his decisions and his decision came from a place that made sense. He put my life in jeopardy. He's kind of always been this arrogant person and I agreed. So that was that. After that whole car incident, Luke and I stopped talking again. Then I started seeing him at the local hockey games that I go to. And I felt bad. He looked really upset. He tried messaging me saying like, I'm sorry, like I'm different now, like blah 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 please like give me another chance and so I talked to Will about it and he was like fine whatever you're a grown-up you can do whatever you want to do but I don't want you hanging out with him and I was like okay fine I can talk to him but like go hanging out so like we would talk and like it wasn't nearly as often as we used to talk like I told you this guy used to be my best friend until all the shit started happening and basically we'd just be like hey what's up nothing much how about you nothing cool whatever we would talk at the local hockey games and he would come outside with me for smokes and this lasted not even a month so a couple months before Sandra and I started rekindling a friendship she's my cousin by marriage she's actually Will's cousin but her and I have been tied at the hip since her and I first met and it's kind of always been like this connection that like was meant to happen so we were just kind of like starting to rekindle things now at this point while Luke and I are starting to talk again Andrew and I are completely good we've hashed out the problems we've talked about our falling out everything's good we're back to normal Sandra says to me in passing for some reason we were talking about Luke and she said did you know that he's the one that sent the link the blog post because basically when Sandra and I had this falling out there was like so many other things happening in my life one of the biggest kickers to me was when Sandra and I had her falling out and then after that other things in my life started to unravel and I was just losing my shit it was not a good year for me and basically what happened was on my tumblr I had posted this long-winded blog about all the things that had been happening in my life and I was playing the victim role and I was kicking other people while they were down because I was so fucking upset basically it was a huge attack on Sandra and this other person that I had fallen out with basically one right after the other and I was really upset it was just like a blog that I had posted because I was down and I was attacking her and this other person and someone had sent the link to Sandra of this blog where I was basically attacking her I honestly had no idea who sent it I thought maybe she was just like creeping me or something so her and I were talking and we were on the subject of Luke and she said did you know he's the one that sent me the link for your blog and I lost it I had no idea that Luke was the one that sent her the link to the blog post why the fuck would he have he was not any part of that and it was just a major kick to me and like Sandra and I were good she knew that I posted that blog we were good we talked about it we were fine but that was just like what he's the one that sent that post like it just totally shocked me and I didn't see it coming and it just set a fire in me Luke messaged me I think maybe it was the next day maybe it was two days later I don't know I hadn't talked to him I was sort of like whatever I am fucking done because of all the shit that he's already done I was just over it he messaged me and he's like hey what's up and I'm like nothing you and like I didn't fucking care I didn't want to talk to him and he's like just bored sad we can't hang out and I just put lol because I was fucking done he said it's not funny it sucks and then I took I don't know how long I took some time to think about how to react to this situation and I was just like you know what fuck it <laughs> because I'm not ever one to bite my tongue I'm not really one for confrontation but I'm not gonna hold back if you wronged me I'm gonna fucking say something right so I'm like you know what sucks hearing from your cousin that you were talking shit when you were trying to patch shit and me fighting with will to be friends with you when you don't even deserve it I was 
pissed. <laughs> and then he is like, I don't even talk to my cousin. I don't live at home. And I was like, no, you talking shit about me to Sandra. And he's like, I wasn't talking shit about you. I was just not arguing with her because she was mad at you. This was like last summer. I haven't talked to Sandra in a while. And the last time I did, I simply asked how she was. And I was like, I honestly don't care. Her and I are good. We patched our shit. But I just think it's funny that you sent her the link to that blog post I wrote about her and all the shit in my life. Here I was thinking you were worth my time. He's like, she asked for it. I'm not going to argue with you, Lynn. I didn't shit talk you. I just didn't defend you. I was trying to stay out of it. Which is fine. If you're not shit talking me and you're just trying to stay out of it, fine. But you were shit talking me, so don't fucking lie to me. I was like, sending links doesn't equal trying to stay out of it. Just stop talking to me, kid. I'm over it. And he's like, whatever. It's not like you were going to be my friend anyway because Will controls you anyway. You don't talk to blank anymore, which was basically our mutual friend, but him and I had a falling out. Will's friends with him, but because I fucked up once, I'm a piece of shit. Have a nice fucking life. I fucking give up. You and Will win. Congrats. What? Will does not control me. Will was coming from a place of sanity and was in the right mindset to say, hey, you shouldn't be friends with this fucking person because he's psychotic and he puts your life in danger and all this shit. And I respect his decision because I'm his wife. We're partners and we make joint decisions on things and if he has an opinion and he has thoughts and feelings towards something, I'm going to respect that. That's not my husband controlling me. That's me respecting my husband. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a grown-ass woman. I can make decisions for myself. I can be friends with whoever the fuck I want to, but I'm also going to respect my husband and his thoughts and his feelings on things, right? Makes sense. Okay. So then I was like, I don't talk to blank because I don't like him. What does blank have to do with anything anyway? And it's called a grown-up relationship. I put my spouse's feelings first because he matters to me, but don't worry, maybe you'll experience love one day. And that was the end of that conversation. This was in June. It's now the end of November. I think this started happening about two months ago. So the end of September-ish, I started noticing that Luke was liking and then unliking my Instagram pics. Like it would come up on my notifications that he liked a picture of mine on Instagram and then I would click it because I'd be like, that's fucking weird. And his name would no longer be there on my Instagram picture. So he was purposefully or maybe accidentally going and liking my pictures and then going, oh shit, or something like that and then unliking my pictures but it had already given me the notification that he liked it and then like a month after this like the beginning of the month ish or something he was liking my instagram pictures and then not unliking them and i was like what the fuck is going on and then he was going on my tumblr looking at my selfie page on my tumblr which is fine like that's open it's public domain but like why and he was liking my selfie pictures on tumblr and then it gets even fucking weirder because he scrolled back Back to 2014 okay it's 2016 almost 2017 he scrolled back two years to like a picture I posted two years and I was like what the fuck and then he tried adding me on snapchat and I was like okay I'm fucking done like this is ridiculous what is going on is he stalking me seriously felt like he was stalking me so I was like whatever I'm fucking done with this shit so I after a couple days of thinking about it I finally added him back on snapchat and then I let it sit for like a day or two and was just watching what he was doing. So he was going and watching my Snapchat stories, but he wasn't talking to me. He wasn't trying to reach out to me on Snapchat. He wasn't Facebook messaging me. He wasn't talking to me on Tumblr. He wasn't posting on my Instagram. And I was just like, this is so weird. Like he's just sitting back and watching me and not interacting. Like it was weird. So Last night, I was like, this kid is fucking stalking me. I'm done. So I messaged him on Facebook. And by the way, if you guys want any receipts for these conversations or screenshots of him like liking the pictures or whatever, I have receipts. If you want me to post them on Twitter or Instagram, wherever, like, let me know. I have receipts. I will post them if you guys don't believe me. I'm just a shitty YouTuber and I can't like put the receipts like on the video because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So last night I messaged him because I'm like I'm fucking done so I was like hey and he's like hey and I was like what's good and he's like nothing much you and I was like on tumblr and he's like nice and then I thought about it for a second and I was like post a new selfie but you won't have to scroll too far to like it and he was like what makes you say that and I was like well you scrolled back to 2014 like last week so and he's like yes I did but there's a search bar so I didn't really scroll at all really 
Okay, let me get this straight. So you went to my Tumblr, and I don't know what's worse, you scrolling back two years or you going to the search bar and specifically searching for hashtags on my photos. And I was like, what did you search? And he's like, selfie, I think. And I was like, why? And he's like, was feeling nostalgic. And I was like, do you feel nostalgic often? And he was like, I don't know, just regretting some things I've done in my life. And I was like, for like the last two months or what? Because honestly, it feels like you're bordering on stalking me. And he's like, it was one time last week, not for the last two months. I'm definitely not stalking you. And I was like, you've been liking and uh, unliking my Insta post more than just one Tumblr post. And you tried adding me on Snapchat. And he's like, I haven't been on Instagram in a while. So I don't know about that, but it will stop. I will leave you be. Uh-huh. And that's literally what I said. I was like, uh-huh. And he is like, I will. And I'm like, but like, why even in the first place? And don't try to lie, dude, just be honest. And he's like, I don't know, maybe I miss our friendship that I wrecked. And this is the kind of person he is. This is exactly like my dad. And like, sorry dad, if you're watching this, but you're probably not, but this is the exact type of person that my father is. So I am very aware of what you're doing, man. I know what you're doing. And you're probably watching this video and that's fine. I fucking see you, man. He's the type of person that puts himself down to make you feel guilty and make you feel like you're in the wrong. It's like emotional abuse. Do you get what I'm saying? So he's like, I don't know. Maybe I missed the friendship that I wrecked. And the last time I liked pictures, it was what made you call you and Sandra prank call me. And that's what made us friends again. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. So I was like, you were hoping to get my attention. And he's like, I guess so, yeah. And that was the end of that conversation because I'm like, I'm not engaging in this conversation any longer. Like, it's just ridiculous. You're bordering upon stalking me. You're trying to make me feel guilty for the shit that you did, the shit that you keep doing over and over again. I am not engaging anymore. So yeah, that's what's been new in my life. I have someone who's bordering on stalking me. Maybe I'm being a little over dramatic, but I don't know, whatever. It's just the type of person he is. I just thought it was interesting and like ridiculous. So I thought I would tell you guys about it. I will keep you guys updated on Snapchat. Maybe I'll do a vlog. If anything happens after this, I'll be sure to update you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, hit subscribe, be my friend. Don't forget, I post all my social media links down in the description box below for you guys to check out. I recommend Snapchat because that's where I'm most active. I also have a new Facebook page where I post updates so you can go follow that as well. And until next time, keep shining. Bye guys.